Let's now remove the shock strut and capsule. Install an empty barrel under the shock absorber. Remove the blanking cap of the filling inflation valve. Fit a flexible hose. Open the filling inflation valve and drain the shock absorber. The nitrogen pressure which is inside the shock absorber aids the drainage. Once the shock absorber is empty, close the inflation valve and remove the flexible hose. Install an appropriate tool on both sides of the shock strut bogey beam and brake rod attachment points. This tool will be used to support the sliding tube in the jig. Support the sliding tube in the jig using a forklift truck. Secure the sliding tube on the jig. Now, the tool maintaining the shock absorber in partially compressed position can be removed. Caution, take all safety precautions as the tool is very heavy. On the top of the landing gear leg, remove the outboard shortening mechanism proximity switch support.
Unscrew and remove the safety bolt, securing the collar of the shortening mechanism point 7. This point refers to the shortening mechanism pin 7. SM1 is the interface in the wing, and SM9 is the final pin in the capsule. Unscrew and remove the two grease points. Install the appropriate tool on the collar. This collar secures the shortening mechanism pin, SM7, to the main fitting. Unscrew the collar and remove it. Remove the inboard shortening mechanism proximity switch support. Using the forklift truck, slightly compress the shock absorber. While at the top of the landing gear leg, insert the angled bell crank lever tool into the hole in the bell crank to maintain it in this position. This is to ensure that SM8 comes off to over center pad and the mechanism begins to shorten. When this happens, the bell crank lever will begin to rotate downwards. Remove the top cover to gain access to the bell crank. Remove the through bolt securing the shortening mechanism bell crank. Drive out the inboard part bell crank lever. Remove the pin at SM5 and the outboard portion of the bell crank lever. Now tie a guide rope to the disconnected link of the shortening mechanism. This rope is used to guide the shortening mechanism linkage during the shock strut removal, preventing damage to the bore of the main fitting. Remove the inflation valve access panel. Release the shock absorber nitrogen pressure. Fully compress the shock absorber. Disconnect the lower torque link attachment using the specific tool.
secure the torque link assembly in position. Drive out the axle lower pin while taking all the necessary precautions to avoid damage to the pin and bushes. Remove pin SM7 while applying tension to the guide rope. This tension must be maintained until the shock strut is completely removed. Slowly lower the shock strut using the forklift truck. At the same time, gradually allow the guide rope to feed through the main fitting. At the full extension of the sliding tube, remove the nuts securing the lower bearing assembly. Lower the shock absorber completely. Recover the shortening mechanism linkage. Move the shock strut to a safe area for further disassembly as necessary. Shock strut removal is now completed.